I found a Javelin a little over seven years ago, and I found there was a gap in the market where there wasn't really any company that was focused on financial services, payments, and fraud that was based on rigorous quantitative research. So that's what we provide. We're really the only provider that does that on a focused basis, especially with focus between the service provider, a bank, a payments company, maybe a technology vendor, and the end consumer. And you know this relationship, so when new products come out, when new regulations come out, that kind of thing, I noticed that there really wasn't anybody providing that quantitative data. And I originally did that for a dot-com company, which met its demise during the dot-com era. And I did that independently. And I, I think you know, really research is kind of one of those things that's a little like the, the strange language maybe your mechanic talks to you in when you ask what, why your car is making a funny sound. And most of us don't check into research to see you know, if it's really as rigorous as it should be. Financial services, payments, mobile, and security and fraud. And those are our areas that we cover. The payments, the, the banking services, the, the risk and fraud, and, and mobile. And so what they're looking for, particularly now, are ways to replace lost fee revenue with Dodd-Frank and with the more pro-regulatory uh, stance, pardon me, that we see in Capitol Hill right now. And most people would admit that there are some things that possibly aren't working quite right in financial services. There isn't much agreement on how you solve that, if regulation is a good thing or a bad thing or what kind we need. But what people are looking for are more ways to make money with customers. There is a fundamental shift that's a permanent shift, we believe, in payment type usage. And this, there's a tie in here to Dodd-Frank, which is that credit card usage is on a, uh, on a decline that will never be reversed. We've been calling for that, we've been saying, predicting that, pardon me, for several years. Credit card usage is going down, debit card usage is going up. So credit card companies are becoming payment card companies. And Really, the, this term credit card company is about as applicable as the word glove compartment for that thing in your car that doesn't hold gloves anymore. And what we have are payment card companies, and they also have prepaid cards where people essentially get a payroll check on a card for low-income people. So the whole nature of payment card relationships have shifted. What's interesting about that as it relates to, to uh, regulation is that most of the inbound regulations, or I should say many, only apply to credit cards. That's the one form of payment that's declining. The form of payments that are on the increase don't have as much regulation applying to them. So that would be the prepaid cards for low-income Americans who before were unbanked. Now they're banked, but their bank account lives on a card instead of in a checking account relationship. And then debit cards, which are used more by youth. What we see coming on the horizon is more fees in, in the form of innovative services that consumers want to take advantage of. We call that proactive, not punitive. So most of the fees that are being wiped out are punitive in nature. Mm -hmm. They're the form of the stick. And th the fact is, if I were to advise somebody, young, old, rich, poor, I would say look for services that charge you fees but help you get control of your finances. I think they communicate in a more plain way with their consumers. Make sure your legal people aren't having the upper hand over the communications people. They need to come out and embrace new products like social media and understand what people are saying about you and especially mobile for real-time communication. And don't let people tell them that consumers don't want to pay more fees, but rather find services that bear fees that solve real customer problems.